Uh, Jim Miller, Las Cruces High football coach. K coach Miller, first things first, you guys have been putting up offensive numbers at a massive pace and it continue to roll on today. Really an unstoppable unit, if you can just talk about that. Uh, definitely. I think, you know, like I said all year long, I think that, you know, not think, but we're so balanced. You know, we, we have tight ends and catch. We have receivers and catch. We have a great running game. And it all starts up with the, up front with our with our big boys, you know, and that's a luxury to have as a coach. You know, every coach would love to be in my situation. You know, Coach Lopez does a great job of, of getting those guys in the right place and calling the right plays. And, uh, you know, we just got to continue to do that, you know. And it all starts up front, and I know all our running backs, our quarterbacks, receivers will say it starts up front with protection, opening those holes. And, uh, and our running backs are running so hard. Joy's picking them apart on uh, uh, throwing the ball, and our tight ends are catching. So as a defensive person, as a defensive coordinator, it's very hard for, for someone just to isolate on one face of our game. The reality is maybe the only way a team can beat you guys right now is if they score every time they touch the football. I mean, you guys get a stop, touchdown. You get another stop, touchdown. You guys get up two or three scores, lights out. Yeah, we, 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 we think we can score every time. That's the mentality these guys have. And uh, defense, I thought we did a good job. You know, over that quarterback, they spread us out, no backs. And, uh, you know, you look at it, they had a kick return in the first half, and then they had a short field, maybe a 45-yard field where they scored. And that was two other three touchdowns in the first half, and we pretty much blanked in the second half except for the last two minutes of the game. So, you know, I know a lot of people don't realize you, uh, you're giving up the pass, and it seems that way. But, uh, you know, with a good team like that, and all they do is pass, well, you're going to give up something. But I was real happy with, with our defense. Coach Jay Scheme, he did a great job of putting that together. We brought the heat. We laid back. We did a lot of things with it and confused him a little bit. And, you know, and, and, and it showed. We ended up beating him pretty good. I mean, maybe the defense will even give up some touchdowns here and there. But the question is, does it matter? I mean, when the offense is rolling like that, I mean, if you guys give up three or four TDs, but you're scoring 50 plus points at the it end of the day. Matter. That's right. That's true. You know, and, 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 you know, with a good team like that, though, they're going to score some points, you know. I mean, that's just how it is. You know, you don't have that ground and pound where, you know, the clock's coming off and, uh, you know, and the, the time's coming off the clock. And, you know, before you know it, it's the second half and uh, you only scored seven points. So, uh, you know, those that's to our advantage. So we got to make sure we continue to do that and take advantage of our opportunities. And then lastly, Sandia, state championship game next week. I mean, I know you got to scout them. you got to look at film and you want to be complimentary going into it. But... Just off the top of your head, how do you feel about your football team's chances? Well, these are our, this is our goal all season long. You know, last two years we come up short. You know, one in the semi here and uh, with the catch, and then of course last year in double overtime against Real Rancho. So, you know, we got we know we got to prepare for these guys. We know it's a very good Sandia football team. They're playing well right now. But that's our goal. That's what we're going to do. We're going to prepare better this week than we ever have. And I know these kids will, and we'll be ready to go. And uh, we'll let the chips fall where they may. But we're real excited coming up playing a very good Sandia team.